Jane Goodyear. I'm Dean of the Sun School of Engineering at York University here, accompanied by Alison Evans Adnani, who is the lead of the Dev degree at Shopify. Over the next 10 minutes, myself and Alison are going to talk to you about what it means to deliver learning in partnership in the ICT sector. We've had a bit of a problem with getting skills and particularly skills up there in terms of critical thinking. So how can we equip the next generation of software developers, cybersecurity specialists and so forth to keep abreast of what's needed? I'm going to be talking to you about this new program called a Integrated Program in Digital Technologies. I'm originally from the United Kingdom. These kinds of programs were actually invented in the UK in 2015. They now are delivered across over 100 universities. The enrolments have now tipped over 20,000 students. That's happened in the UK. I was commissioned in 2016 by the New Zealand government. Then I came to Canada and I knocked on Alison's door saying, why don't we do this for Canada? And that's what we're doing. What this programme is, it's not going to supplement or change co-op. This is just a different model. The difference is 80% of the programme is actually spent at the workplace. And the 20% of their time come back to the uni five day a week blocks every six to seven weeks. Because the student is essentially working full time, that you're growing the students into your culture, the way of working. This is adding loyalty and retention. These are who we call our trailblazers, which have been representative from the ICT sector. They actually help me and my team specify the competencies, the knowledge, skills and behaviours they're expecting from the next generation. So this has been approved by the Ontario Quality Council and we're taking on our first cohort this fall. So how does this programme work? You take on a learner and it's through four work terms of 12 months. In those 12 months, they will start to learn the technical side of things, but also we're complementing their learning with learning about communication, problem solving and so forth. I'm going to hand over the presentation now to Alison, who will actually tell you about the experiences from a business lens about these kinds of programmes. So over to you, Alison. So way back in 2016, we had traditional co-op program, but we wanted the program that Jane's talking about now, the 80-20 program, because we wanted to recognize the learning that students were doing in the work environment. We didn't have a university that was ready for us back in 2016. So what we ended up with was a 50-50, 50% of the time at work, 50% of the time at school. Our students take three courses a semester and they get one course credit for the work they do at Shopify. In 2018, we started our partnership in Lausanne and we were growing an R&D team in Toronto. At Dev Degree, we're hiring based on aptitude and potential. Our participants are self-identified 50% as female. 79% of our participants are identify as people of color. We have a remarkable diversity in our cohorts compared to our engineering population. Only 49% of computer science grads right now have the chance to participate in a work integrated learning program. All of the dev degree participants are in a work integrated learning program. Only 40% of co-op can generally be retained. 90% of our students are able to retain as full-time employees. 65% of grads have standard employment full-time within six months after graduation. At dev degree, 100% because of their work experience have jobs six months after graduation, jobs as software developers, and 96% of those have their offers before they even graduate. Within only three years, 15% of our graduates are now senior developers. I'd like to introduce you to Kaylin. She is a great example of a non-traditional participant. Kaylin started an environmental science degree after high school. She dropped out. She started her own organic farm. And then she got really interested in software development. When she applied to dev degree, she had this cool app she had already written to monitor her cow's milking. And this is an example of her career path. 
So they spend the first eight months with us on the training path. Then she was with the orders team. They always start with a full stack back end or front end development position. Then she went on to infrastructure security, network foundations. And now she's graduated and she's working for us full time as a senior infrastructure security engineer. A lot of the pushback I've heard from the York team that they're getting is how can I bring a high school student into the workplace? 80% of our dev degree participants come out of high school. Carmela is another great example. Both of these folks have written blog posts on our engineering blog. And in this post, she's talking about the growth that she personally went through on her first placement. Just like Kaylin's full stack engineering, she was on our user interface and apps team. She's in a production engineering position now. Thank you, Alison. So, you know, we've got 250 candidates waiting there for jobs. We've also got over 100 mature, what we call transfer or professional applicants. So, how can we help support your recruitment? One of the employees we're currently working with is Ceridian. What we've done is worked with them to create a student-friendly job posting that attracts top talent. We posted an info session with 80 uh, applicants, and then we've helped to uh, customise a application process that aligns their requirements, both technical and interpersonal skills. So, please connect with us and uh, find out more about this programme. The recruitment timeline is on a continuous basis from now through to the end of June. We will help you support the pre-screening interview process and so forth. And hopefully we will help you match with that talent. Thank you.